echoes of Compassion of Bruce by Thomas Miller. In a small town named Crestwood, nestled between rolling hills and whispering pines, there lived a man named Glen. His life, once vibrant and full of promise, took a devastating turn when he received the heart-wrenching news of a terminal illness that was rapidly devouring his body. Glenn had only seven months left to live. As the days passed, Glenn's world crumbled around him. His brothers, once pillars of support, abandoned him in his darkest hour. His wife, unable to bear the impending grief, left without a word. Even the hospice team, those entrusted with providing comfort and solace, seemed to harbour an inexplicable resentment towards him. Glenn faced the unbearable pain and loneliness that accompanied his illness with a stoic resolve. Each passing day became a struggle, and the bitter taste of abandonment lingered in his heart. The town, once a haven of familiarity, now felt like a desolate landscape of broken dreams. Through the relentless storms of misfortune, there remained one constant in Glenn's life, a loyal companion named Bruce. This faithful dog, with eyes that mirrored unwavering devotion, became Glenn's sole source of solace. In the quiet moments of despair, it was Bruce who stood by his side, offering a comforting presence that transcended words. As the month slipped away, Glenn's health deteriorated rapidly. Pain became his constant companion, and the weight of loneliness pressed upon him like an unrelenting force. In his final moments, surrounded by the silent walls of an empty home, Glenn took a trembling breath and summoned the strength to say goodbye. With a heavy heart, he spoke to Bruce, his voice cracking with the weight of unspoken sorrow. I'm sorry, old friend. It's time for me to go. Thank you for being the light in my darkness. Bruce, sensing the gravity of the moment, nuzzled closer, as if trying to absorb some of Glenn's pain. In the quiet town of Crestwood, as Glenn's life ebbed away, a mournful howl echoed through the stillness. Bruce, the loyal dog, bared his grief to the world. The haunting sound carried through the hills, resonating with the hearts of those who heard it. The townspeople, unaware of Glenn's struggles, were stirred by the mournful cry. It was as if Bruce, in that final moment, sought to announce to the world that a gentle soul had departed. The town, now touched by the unspoken tragedy of Glenn's lonely journey, recognised the silent plea for compassion that had gone unanswered. When the news of Glenn's passing reached the ears of the townspeople, a sombre realisation settled upon them. In the quiet corners of their hearts, regret lingered for not extending the hand of kindness to a man who had faced the depths of dis The absence of mourners at Glenn's funeral served as a poignant reminder of the importance of compassion and love, especially in the twilight moments of a person's life. And so, in the memory of a man named Glenn, Crestwood learned a solemn lesson, to be kind, to show love, and to extend a hand of compassion, for one never truly knows the weight that another may carry. In the end, it was not the riches, the accolades, or the worldly successes that mattered, but the warmth of human connection and the enduring loyalty of a faithful friend named Bruce, who continued to wait by Glenn's side even in death. As the townspeople reflected on Glenn's life, the echoes of Bruce's mournful howl reverberated through their collective conscience. They began to share stories of the man they had unknowingly overlooked in his time of need, and the realisation of their collective failure to extend a helping hand weighed heavily on their hearts. In the days that followed, a quiet revolution of empathy swept through Crestwood. The residents, inspired by the poignant reminder of Glenn's lonely journey, vowed to be more compassionate, more attentive to the struggles of those around them. Small acts of kindness multiplied, neighbours checked in on one another, friendships were rekindled, and the community began to heal the fractures that had once separated them. In a surprising turn of events, the people of Crestwood also directed their newfound compassion towards animals in need. The local shelter, often overlooked in the past, experienced an outpouring of support Many townspeople, moved by Bruce's loyalty to Glen, 
adopted pets and championed the cause of those who couldn't speak for themselves. Glenn's story, though tragic, became a catalyst for positive change in Crestwood. The town transformed into a place where empathy flourished and the bonds of community deepened. The once silent streets echoed with the laughter of children playing and the warmth of genuine connections being formed. In the quiet corners of Crestwood, a memorial for Glen was erected, not out of guilt or remorse, but as a testament to the town's collective commitment to compassion. The plaque read, in memory of Glen, may we always remember the power of kindness and the importance of standing together in times of darkness. And so, as the seasons changed and life continued in Crestwood, Glen's legacy lived on. The town, once marred by missed opportunities for compassion, had blossomed into a community that embraced the inherent value of human connection. In every act of kindness, in every shared smile, and in the collective effort to be there for one another, the people of Crestwood paid homage to the man whose lonely departure had sparked a transformative journey toward empathy and love. Over time, the once disconnected residents of Crestwood discovered a profound sense of fulfillment in their newfound community spirit. The echoes of Glenn's story, intertwined with Bruce's loyalty, lingered in the collective consciousness of the town, serving as a constant reminder of the importance of compassion. As the years unfolded, Crestwood continued to evolve into a place where people genuinely cared for each other. The spirit of unity that had blossomed after Glenn's passing extended to support networks for the elderly, outreach programs for those facing adversity, and a deepened sense of responsibility for the well-being of every member of the community. Bruce, the faithful dog, became a symbol of loyalty and compassion. The town rallied around him, recognizing the role he played in highlighting the need for connection. In honor of Bruce's unwavering devotion, a community initiative emerged to support local animal shelters and promote responsible pet ownership. The once quiet memorial for Glen became a focal point for gatherings, not of mourning, but of celebration. Each year, on the anniversary of Glen's passing, the people of Crestwood came together to share stories of kindness, resilience, and the transformative power of empathy. The memorial, surrounded by vibrant flowers and the laughter of children playing, stood as a testament to the enduring impact of one man's lonely journey. In a surprising twist of fate, a filmmaker from Crestwood decided to create a documentary about Glenn's life and the subsequent transformation of the town. The documentary, titled Echoes of Compassion, captured the hearts of audiences far beyond Crestwood. It became a poignant reminder to people everywhere of the profound impact simple acts of kindness could have on a community. Inspired by Crestwood's story, communities around the world began to reevaluate their own values. Acts of kindness rippled through neighborhoods, cities, and nations, creating a global movement that sought to break down barriers and foster genuine connections. The legacy of Glenn once a man who faced the world alone, had become an enduring beacon of Crestwood, the town that had learned the importance of compassion through sorrow, stood as a testament to the transformative power of empathy and the enduring legacy of a man and his loyal dog named Bruce. The documentary, Echoes of Compassion, went on to win awards and gained widespread recognition, reaching audiences across the globe. Crestwood became a symbol of resilience and community spirit, inspiring other towns and cities to reflect on their own capacity for kindness. As the years passed, the lessons learned from Glenn's story continued to shape Crestwood's identity. The town had become a beacon of compassion, drawing in visitors who sought to experience the warmth and connection that defined the community. The once divided residents now stood united, bound by a shared commitment to empathy. The memorial for Glen evolved into a community hub, hosting events that celebrated the triumph of compassion over adversity. Every year, on the anniversary of Glen's passing, Crestwood held a festival dedicated to acts 
of kind. Residents and visitors alike participated in volunteer activities, shared stories of overcoming challenges, and reinforced the values that had transformed their town. Bruce, the canine hero of the story, became a beloved figure in Crestwood. The town erected a statue in his honor, capturing the essence of loyalty and love. The local animal shelter flourished with support, and the people of Crestwood continued to adopt pets, recognizing the profound impact animals could have on human lives. In the wake of Crestwood's transformation, neighboring towns began to implement their own initiatives to foster empathy and community bonds. The documentary inspired a wave of positive change, illustrating that even in the face of tragedy, communities could rise above adversity and create a better, more compassionate world. As the town's story spread, an unexpected reunion took place. Glenn's estranged brothers, having seen the documentary, reached out to Crestwood, expressing remorse for their actions. Touched by the town's transformation, they sought reconciliation and, in time, became active members of the community, contributing to Crestwood's ongoing journey of healing. Crestwood's legacy reached far beyond its borders, becoming a model for other communities to follow. The Crestwood effect became a term used to describe the transformative power of compassion, echoing through communities across the world. Glenn's name, once associated with sorrow and loneliness, now carried a different resonance, a symbol of the enduring ability of communities to come together, support one another, and create lasting change. The lessons of Crestwood served as a testament to the idea that, even in the face of the darkest moments, the human spirit could prevail with love, kindness, and unwavering solidarity.